Hi, Paul, Calvary Chapel, you turn for Christ. In Revelations, a letter was written to the seven churches where Jesus described how he felt in his relationship with each one of them. The first he addresses is the church in Ephesus, who at first, their relationship was one of passion and connection. As they went on in time, appeared to be doing all the right things in the faith, showing growth as a body and financial prosperity. Let's take a look at Revelations 2, 2 and 3. Jesus said, I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you could not bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say that they're apostles and they're not. And you have found them liars. You have persevered and have patience and have labored for my name's sake and have not become weary. The church was did develop into a serving church, although what began with a passion for the Lord, Jesus stated by commenting, commending them as they produced what many would consider great things, getting busy with many spiritual activities, doing good things, even keeping evil out of the church, Jesus said in verse two, preserving and serving and didn't give up. They were doing all the right things, but with the wrong motivation. In verse four, Jesus shifts from compliments to rebuke. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Wow, this seems to mean that we could be serving, we could be doing, we could be given, giving, and even more in our church but by not, not having our first love, our passion, not having Jesus as our true desire. Have you ever completed task A, B, and C, and even say all the right things at the right time and feel like something was, or something is missing in your life? The first love is more than having things or being driven to do good things but it's rooted in motivation more than movement, more than what you actually do. When the church in Ephesus left their first love, they slipped into religion at the expense of being set free in a relationship with Jesus Christ. We must repent and come back to the basics, to come back to our first love by making our relationship with Jesus Christ priority over everything else and God will be faithful to forgive and restore that passion that we once had. Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for showing us the foundation, the way to come to abundant life, Lord, is only one way and that's you. And when we put you first, Lord, in all things, we have more of everything but even more of your spirit that gives us the joy and the peace in our heart that surpasses the understanding. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.